Hey everybody, it's Chad from Six Blog. I'm Stick. Uh, today I'm super excited to do this unboxing video. Uh, as you can tell from the uh, the title of this video, this is uh, or this should be uh, the new Sawyer Mini water filter. Uh, a lot of people are very familiar with the Sawyer Squeeze, and it's actually um, what I've been using for quite a while now. A lot of hikers I know actually use this. Uh, and been very happy with it. Actually, the hike that I just went on uh, in the Olympic National Park, uh, I'm a, I can't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure that probably every one of us there was using this filter. Um, some of them may have been actually sharing it. Um, but this is a pretty popular filter. Uh, and a while back, Sawyer announced that they were going to release a mini version, uh, which was an even lighter version of the same filter. Uh, from what I understand, they used the same 0.1 absolute micron filter. Uh, in the Mini that they're also using in the Squeeze. Um, but the difference is, is the Mini should be lighter um, and it should have uh, the end caps or the nipples built into each end so that you can use it different ways. And we'll check it out in just a minute. Uh, but anyway, I want to say first off thanks to uh, Patrick at uh, Sawyer. Uh, he actually contacted me via email a couple of days ago and asked me if I'd be interested in checking one of these out. And I said, sure thing. Uh, as far as I understand, I think these are supposed to be available to the public for sale sometime in October. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't heard a definite word about that. Um, so anyway, I'm going to break into this thing, uh, and we're going to check it out. Uh, just so you know, my EDC for today is my Zero Tolerance 0550 knife. Still loving this thing. So let's break into it, see what we've got to see. Put it on the scale, get a couple of weights, and uh, see how this thing works out. All right, so there it is. Uh, this is how it's going to come packaged, I assume. Uh, this looks like it's a pretty uh, pretty final production uh, thing here. And the filter certainly is smaller. Uh, you can kind of see a difference there. It's about the same length. It's about the same length, but it's just a lot smaller. It looks like the housing, the plastic housing, has been uh, severely reduced. Kind of break into this thing. Okay, got this thing opened up here. Looks like this is just a little card. Comes in there. Um, it's got uh, tips and stuff on the back. Um, it's just general use tips. Uh, looks like it comes with a little straw. Oh, it's got a sweet little baby bag in here. This looks like it is a probably a 16 ounce bag. Yep, 16 ounce bag. And it feels like it's made from the same heavy duty bag uh, or from the same heavy duty material that they're using on their new bags, their updated bags. A lot of people may remember that whenever Sawyer first put these out, um, their bags was their biggest downfall. Uh, but they, they've re, redid their bags and I've personally not had any issues out of either sets of bags. Uh, but I know a lot of people have commented since they've been using the new bags and said they're a lot better. Uh, but anyway, this is a 16 ounce uh, bag. Let's just get a weight on this. Uh, it's 0.7 ounces or 21 grams for the bag. Uh, just so you know, the straw is 6 grams. And I'll list all this in the video. 0.2 ounces. Um, this is the back flush syringe. Um, it's just a syringe. It looks like it's the same. It's a 60cc syringe, same as what came with the other. Just so you know, I get 1.1 ounces on that, or 32 grams. Um, other than that, it's just some more information cards that are on the side of the box. And then we have the actual filter itself. And uh, it feels light. It looks like it's got a cap on the end. This is going to be your clean end. This is going to be your dirty end. And if you look at it, you can see there's threads inside there. Um, so, because of that, that should thread right onto their bags. So there's one way that you can use it. You can just do this and then drink straight from there. Or, of course, you can do this and then, of course, roll the bag. Uh, and you would roll or, or squeeze actually squeeze the fluid through the filter. Um, and then another way uh, that you could do it using the straw is you could just attach the straw, I assume. Yeah. Just attach the straw like so. 
Uh, stick that down in a water bottle or in a water source. Hope you can see that. And then just drink straight from the nipple there. I want to say that I like that they had this little cover uh, for the nipple. Uh, really makes it uh, easy to keep it from getting contaminated. Should anyway. And for the big, the big question, how much does this weigh? I got 39 grams or 1.4 ounces. Uh, now, I do want to say real quick, that's a, a dry weight. And in my opinion, you can't really consider a uh, dry weight for a water filter an absolute weight because the fact is, is it's going to get wet the first time you use it, and that's what you're going to be carrying. i uh, give you a point of reference. I think this was something like 2.4 ounces when I first bought it, um, and it was dry. Uh, now, it weighs exactly 3 ounces or 84 grams, uh, and that is wet, which I have... Uh, I've shaken a lot of water out of it. I could probably shake just a little bit more out of it. I've gotten this down to where uh, I can shake out about, shake it out to where it comes to about 2.7 ounces even while it's wet, uh, which is pretty impressive to me. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go fill up this little bag. Actually, um, yeah, I'm going to go fill up this little bag here, and I'm going to take my camera and everything outside, and we're going to force uh, 16 ounces of water. Uh, through the mini and see how it does. So let me get that going. Okay, so I filled up the little 16 ounce pouch uh, with water. Um, and real quick, we're just going to flow some water through there. I'm going to say that I'm not doing this uh, because I want to see how fast, per se, uh, so much as I just want to get some water in it uh, and then see what kind of weights and stuff I get with it afterwards. And of course, to see if it is going to work. Uh, but anyway, so like I said, uh, the the threads are built right into uh, the bottom here of the, uh, the actual filter here. So I can just easily thread that right on. Pop my nipple. Now I want to say that all the other Sawyer filters I've seen or had, well I've only had two, uh, but the other ones I've had, they said that the first time you use it, it may take a little bit to get it through because you need to wet the filter. So. Let's see here. Well, it came through pretty fast there. Oh man, that's flowing super easy. That is pretty awesome right there. Of course, if I wanted to drink from it, I could drink from it pretty easily. Super easy to drink through. Hope you can see that. That water flowing right through there. Of course, this is a brand new filter. That's it. Well, there was a little bit left in there. So now normally what I do after I get done with my other filters is I would just sling it and get all the water out of it that I could. It looks like the water's coming out pretty good this way. Because even though I've got to carry the wet weight, I still want to get, get rid of as much as I can. Alright, that's about all that I'm going to get out of it, I think. Uh, so now we're going to take it inside and reweigh it. Okay, so now we've got our wet filter, and in my opinion, this is the true, uh, the true weight of the water filter, uh, because this is what you're going to be carrying as a wet filter. So let's go ahead and make sure this is zeroed out, and it is, and it's going between 1.7, no, no, 1.7 and 1.8 ounces. Just kind of show you that there. If you can see that. And we'll look at grams. We have 50 grams. 49, 50 grams. Um, so, looks like it's uh, it's not too bad. Um, we get one point, I'm just going to say 1.8 ounces because it's going back and forth. Um, but 1.8 ounces wet. Uh, it was 1.4 ounces. I can't remember the grams off the top of my head, sorry. Uh, it'll be listed. 
uh, but it's 1.8 ounces and it was 1.4 ounces dry. And to give you a, an idea, like I said, this one uh, is the regular Sawyer Squeeze uh, and this one is wet and it's 2.93 ounces. So this one is almost half the weight, a little more, 1.8 Three point out, uh, three ounces. So, I want to say I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, they've managed to cut, uh, considering that this is a small weight already, they've managed to con they've managed to cut a, a pretty big amount of weight off of the squeeze. Uh, yet they've still managed to keep the 0 0.1 micron absolute. I don't know if that's going to focus. But you can see it says it right there, 0 0.1 micron absolute filter. So it's the same filter. It's a pretty, it feels pretty durable. Uh, I was curious about the middle part, if it was going to be kind of uh, fragile, but it feels pretty, pretty strong. Uh, considering that, you know, you're not supposed to treat a water filter rough, um, I, I don't think I would have any issues with it. I don't have any issues with this. And this is actually, now that I see this one, I realize how much overkill this actually is. Um, I gotta say I like this. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, now I'm looking forward to getting out there and using it uh, and see how it continues to work. So I just want to say uh, in conclusion, uh, I know this is an unboxing, a first look kind of thing, uh, but I want to say that I think Sawyer's got another winner here. Um, they took something that was already awesome uh, and made it even better. Uh, especially for us pe uh, gram weenies, uh, people that count count everything that we put in our pack, which everybody should to a degree, but I'm not going to get into that. Um, but if you're uh, interested in uh, an awesome filter, I think this is going to be one for you. Uh, I want to say thanks to Patrick again, as well as the, uh, everybody else at Sawyer for giving me the opportunity to test this out, especially early. Uh, that was pretty cool. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get this out and I'm going to use it for a while, and then uh, probably closer to the date that these become available, I'll go ahead and update that. Uh, this review. So anyway guys, I appreciate you watching. If you have any comments or questions, just post them below and I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, until next time, we'll see ya.